Good morning, Lawrence here again from the Australian Trade Logistics Corporation. Today we're privileged to have James Hargraves here, one of our platinum sponsors from Ajuno. Great to have you, James. Thanks, Lawrence. Thanks for having me. Pleasure Lawrence. to be here. James, Ajuno, um, I know it's got a whole range of capabilities. Can you tell me a bit about it and how it helps importers and exporters? Sure. So, um, Ajuno is a platform that helps to enable supply chain transparency and collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, and what's unique about the platform is it extends right from um, product concept, through sourcing, supply chain visibility, right. and tracks products right through to a delivery. So you get a whole range of um, visibility from what we call concept to cash. Perfect. So it includes PLM, product lifecycle management. Right. And um, how does it talk to your suppliers and, and your office? How, how does it sort of interface between those type of things? Um, so the, Good question. So the, the supplier relationships, you know, start from from our customers um, when they are either creating an item or um, creating a product. Um, they'll they'll give us their supplier details. Yep. We also have a platform for um, supplier uh, setup and um, and management of the onboarding of su suppliers as well. Yep. So when you go to a trade fair or trade show or something like that, uh, you can give them a link to go through to the site, um, which will enable them to um, become a registered supplier. Great. So onboarding is pretty straightforward, really easy. Yeah, onboarding yep. um, should be fairly straightforward and easy and the best part about it is because it's an online platform you get a single place for the repository of yeah. all the documentation um, certification and things like that for all your suppliers sure well that's I was going to ask that question from a hardware requirement point of view it's pretty pretty straightforward it's all cloud-based I understand yeah that's right it's cloud-based um, you can access it from anywhere with it with an internet connection uh, we have a couple of apps available as well in case you don't have um, internet connection for things like uh, if you're at trade fairs in China and, and yeah. things like that. Fantastic. Mm. And who would be a typical customer who benefits from a Juno? So most of our customers are retailers yeah. um, and that's in that medium to large uh, range. So, you know, creating a lot of orders or tracking a lot of items um, and it just enables, like I say, transparency and, um, and coordination um, from from every single item uh, and every every order raised. Fantastic. One of the things that really stood out to me when I first discovered Ajuno you know, was the ability to really drill down with your supplier capabilities, but also from an ethical, sustainable point of view, that audit and traceability of, of, of products. Right. I mean, there's a few things at the moment that are really hot topics mm. and, um, you know, corporate social responsibility yep. and, and ethical trading is, is certainly one of them. And um, so our platform enables uh, your uh, ethical auditors to go to factories to record all of the site yep. details about the working conditions, the workers themselves. Uh, we can also link to any third party um, uh, people that are, you know, like SEDEX and, and the yep. like that are co already collecting that information. Yep. Um, and you, like I say, uh, you know, you can type in a supplier name, you can pull up the details and access right. it from, from anywhere. It's also linked to your sourcing. So when you're trying to, um, you know, source a new product, um, if, if the supplier, uh, you're receiving a quote from a supplier, you can see straight away whether they're, um, you know, an ethical Great. Um, well, supplier or not. It's, it's a huge benefit. And in the past, it was a bit of a, bit of a, a wish list, but now it's almost a must have for most companies. They really need to understand where the products are made how they're made and how they get here. Yeah, def definitely. And, um, you know, part of the, the problem is that uh, you don't want to have a product turn up, someone ask you, you know, where's it come mm. from? Um, and, you know, still there's a big problem in supply chains with people not knowing exactly which factory it comes yeah. from and what are the conditions of those factories. Yeah. So our product helps to enable um, that visibility and, uh, and yeah, uh, people are seeing a, a lot of benefit from, um, from that in terms of time saving yeah. as well as um, reducing cost when, when problems do happen. Sure, and reducing you know, risk of, of any risk. bad publicity as well. Yeah, that's right. So if, if I'm the, the importer and I'm managing the, the, the suppliers through Juno, through, you know, how do I then work with freight forwarders and, and other third party service providers that I work with? Yeah, so we're a freight forwarder agnostic solution, yep. which means that we can connect through um, any, any freight forwarder that you're working with currently. Um, and it means that you get to keep your, your own data. So yep. part of the problem uh, in the past is if you're working with freight forwarders, you get access to their system for those portion of orders. Yep. Um, and when you change provider, you lose the visibility. That's a huge problem, and, yeah. and the, and the, yeah. Um, past data. So, you know, with the focus on business intelligence, big data, analytics, you need to retain that information. So, a system enables you to work with a, a range of different providers. Yeah. Um, you know, that could be 3PLs, you know, warehousing, yeah. um, trucking providers, uh, collect all that information and keep it yourself. Yeah. Uh, we have a really uh, simple interface. So, you know, when you're going through a tender or with your current providers, you can say, you know, this is the information I need and this is the format. Yeah. Um, and it's really plug and play. Fantastic. Yeah, I think, especially with the emergency, have you, as you said, of the big data, Industry 4.0, there's so many opportunities now for companies to really have a customer service advantage, but they need to have that data 
at their fingertips to be able to work through that. Yeah, and it just means that you know when you're walking into a management meeting and someone asks you a specific question, yeah. you've got the information at your fingertips yeah. and you can just pull it up. At, at well, that's time. something that's really cool about it, Juno. The dashboards, the reporting capabilities are just out of this world. It's, yeah. it's really impressive from what I've seen, and obviously I've only seen a small snippet, but um, yeah. there's a lot of great stuff there. Look, it's something we've really worked on um, in the past, and a lot of focus is going on to the future as well. So now we're starting to look at machine learning and what capabilities that can offer. Um, we're, we're, we're looking at predictive analytics yeah. um, and, and looking how you know, we can use historical data to predict future trends. Yeah. And then you can have those different types of conversations with your suppliers in the future. Sure. So James, apart from the business intelligence, the reporting capability, the middleware capability as well to bring all that data together, how do, um, how do companies justify the cost investment? Is there, is there a way of, sort of, when you're, when you're presenting to, to companies who are considering a Juno, yeah. how do you typically balance the, the ROI with the, balance, yeah, with the we, benefits? I mean, we certainly try to offer a fast return on investment, um, whether that's, you know, reduced logistics spend, whether that's, um, you know, taking the lead time out of your supply chain. We've got some really great case studies about people who've started using our software, implemented strategies, mm. and then looked at, um, you know, taking that time out of their supply chain and reducing the amount of inventory they're carrying. Yeah. So there's, there's definitely that benefits from that perspective. Also looking speed to market, yeah. um, cost of, of product reduction, mm. um, and hopefully eventually like reductions in the uh, markdown stock because you, you know, you're making sure you're getting it there on time yeah. and in the right quality. That cost to serve now, I mean, we've, got, we've got programs coming up specific to educating companies on cost to serve analysis. Yeah. And I see with the Juno the ability to really get that, that, that the true cost to serve through the system and actually seeing how the business truly works. Yeah. And the customer service capability all comes down to visibility these days, and that's what it provides. Yeah, and you know you've got multiple uh, areas of your organisation all using one piece of software. You know you've got the um, the buyers, the merchandisers, the um, you know the allocations teams, yep. the the supply chain teams, all using the same set of data. So yep. um, you know we can really track that first cost, track it right the way through the platform until it's delivered, yep. um, and you can be sure that, that you know the cost of your product when you're purchasing is it, what what happens at the end. Fantastic um, when it lands. Yeah. So. Just with a lead time, if we've got companies here in Australia and, and around the world who want to take on a Juno, what will be a typical lead time to sort of, I know every case is yeah. different, so it's hard to predict, but is there a sort of a, a benchmark as a, as a ballpark? So, so the good thing about the software is it's modular. Yep. Um, and uh, we, we have um, about 11 different modules that you can pick and choose from just depending on your business needs. Um, so like you say, it, it does vary a bit. Mm. If you t Obviously, if you take the, the entire thing, it's going to take a little bit yeah, longer to sure. embed. Yep. Uh, but generally, you know, lead time, uh, three, to, three to six months. Yep. Um, uh, you know, the more upstream PLM modules might take a little bit longer to implement because you want to make sure that they're tested across your yep. suppliers. You want to make sure that, um, you know, your organization is, is ready to, to, to take it on. And, yep. you know, we've got a lot of experience working with organizations to help them um, through that process as well. Mm. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, it, but a simple, you know, a simple supply chain visibility system is going to take around three months, yep. um, including all the integrations, yep. testing, and deployment and as the well. The IT guys talking together and working all that through. But yeah, great. Sure. No, I think um, you know, the, the type of brands who are already using the Juno are fantastic. They're you know, really well-known global brands, Australian brands. So they've obviously chosen it for a reason. It must work yeah. well. So yeah. you know, I think uh, the opportunity for us with the Australian Trade Logistics Corporation is to, to make it better known. And, and not just the retail space that you're currently looking at, but I think my view is that there's plenty of other applications that a Juno would make massive inroads and massive benefits for yeah, businesses. absolutely. I mean, it's, it's all about sourcing products, yeah. so whether your products are T-shirts or concrete blocks. Exactly. You know, the the principles are all there. The principles are all the same. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thanks, yeah. James. I think uh, we'll definitely recommend to all of our members and the broader audience across trade and logistics to investigate, check out a Juno, and there's amazing differences it can make to your business. And for further questions, you can contact through me to, to James or look at the a Juno link on, the, on this clip as well. So thanks again, James. Thanks looking for your time, Lawrence. To and looking forward to working yeah. with you more throughout the year. And please let us know if you have any questions. Right. Thanks.